from the Storm Team Weather Lab, KMAC Chief Meteorologist Ron Roberts. Well, the reason why it was so windy today was the uh, storm system is moving our way. It tightened up the pressure gradient just a little bit. And this is kind of a map to kind of explain what's going on. And you know, the weather does impact many of us, right? So we can, and some of us, I know my sister's this way, uh, so you can kind of feel before a cold front's on the way. Well, there it is. And the wind rotating around the low pressure system, bringing a little bit of rain to parts of Kansas and the wind around it. So there's the front and the front will drop temperatures by over 20 degrees for tomorrow. But it also has tightened up the pressure gradient today. So just in case some of you are feeling maybe a little arthritis, you know, a little pain in the body. Yeah, that, that's because we have another weather change on the way. Now, right now, the Slayton Life Sky View, if you look real hard, you might be able to see some brown haze, but for the most part, the wind today has not been strong enough to get the dust up in the air. And the temperatures across the South Plains, well, for the most part, have warmed up this afternoon nicely. Mule shoots northwest of Lubbock, 78 degrees, peak wind 34. Peak wind at 38 miles per hour at Roosevelt High School in eastern Lubbock County, 81 degrees. And La Mesa also at a peak wind over 30, 81 degrees. That's uh, south of Lubbock. Lavaland to the west of Lubbock, 37 mile per hour wind gusts at DeMaca's office. Okay, now, here's what the European forecast model is saying this front's going to do through Saturday, uh, breaking out 100th of an inch precipitation. These kind of fronts, for us, really don't produce significant precipitation. It will for parts of north central Texas and central Texas, but not so much for our region. It is showing Midland with 800 of an inch with the passage of the front. Then we have to let this thing scooch all the way into Wednesday of next week when the models are beginning to show some return flow to the area and actually getting a dry line to set up with a front and producing thunderstorms. So this way out there, but I will say the European model has been very consistent with this. Now the eight to 14 day after this week into next week shows that the precipitation opportunities will be decreasing and the precip will stay to the north of us. So we may start as we move closer to May on the dry side. Still temperatures expected to be above average across most of the United States, especially the southern half of the country. But Leslie Evans has got a rain gauge, and we will need the rain gauge, and you should be here the day it happens. But the Roly Wildcat is going to help you get these rain gauges everywhere. And by the way, thank you so much when you receive a rain. You send us a photo and let us know how much you received, and you tell us your location, too. Uh, it's pretty, pretty cool to have that. The forecast for tonight in the lower 80s were still very mild by 9 and 10 o'clock in the mid to upper 60s. So this has been a, a warm day and temperatures will hold into the mid upper 40s even for tomorrow morning with a low of 38 degrees because after midnight, that front that we saw with the blue line is going to be through our area with a north wind 20 to 25 miles per hour and gusty. And the seven day forecast, here we go, with 59 degrees, so a huge drop of about 20 degrees on Friday. Again, a few sprinkles possible. Then we get back in the mid 70s, the upper 70s on Sunday. Here we go, 80, 84, 75, and 86. A couple of watches in there with our next weather system on the way.